Hi friends, in this video we will learn how to automatically generate invoice number using SQL store procedure. Let's start. I already created this form. Okay, now you can see your invoice number SAL002. So when we run the form, automatically it's generated the invoice number. So now we can see the coding. in the table so there is one record if I delete the record now again run the form the invoice number is SAL001 ok let's see in the code To generate the invoice number, I used a store procedure in the name of sale number. So I already created this on store procedure. So store procedure name sale number. So when uh, we start here, create procedure will be used. Create proce procedure dbo dot sales number. Okay, uh, this is already created. That's why it's uh, here alter. Okay, as begin declare max int so here a maximum value set as 0 second declare rpt name varchar 40 the rpt name sal so before that number uh, values uh, number values before we used uh, some letters sal invoice number like that so that is uh, declared here a rpt name sal Otherwise, we can use invoice also INB. Okay. INB. Okay. Second, declare sale number varchar 20. Declare start. So, starting uh, number as integer. Set a starting uh, start as 1. Next line, declare number varchar 50. So, this all declared here. Next, um, uh, create a temple, uh, temporary table 1 created here using sale number this sale number using varchar 10 again so now we select the number of records already existed or num sales number that is in the sales main so that is the code select max equal max cost of right so from right to 4 uh, numbers we consider the digits so cost of right sale number 4 as integer we take it last 4 digit number as integer plus 1 from sales main this is the code for adding uh, in generating the auto invoice number next uh, if start uh, max of uh, less than or equal to max means the count uh, are in the last four digit one means the begin set start as equal to at max end set uh, number right equal to first uh, when we first number is uh, generating the last four digit we set as the 0000, zero, zero, zero. plus cost start as varchar four digit okay select uh, sale number equal to your uh, report name what we have right inv inv plus this number this four digit number this is the sales invoice number so again we are inserting into values temporary values this is the insert query insert into table name here what we have done create table create table table name uh, as tmm uh, in the field name sale number worker here we are inserting the on this uh, sale number to this temporary table at last select to start from temporary this is the coding for to generate the invoice number now save this right click and execute the sale number displayed as INV0001 okay now this is the store procedure how we called this into uh, form let's see here the sales main form 
their uh, sales main form here in the load event click the form this is the load event here first line I passed a connection string um, here in the project I used a connection class in that connection class I used a, uh, I specified the connection string here that is, uh, that's why I call it connection function here connection cn equal to new connection the next uh, sales uh, data get dot sales number data get means uh, in the connection I mentioned public SQL connection as con public uh, declared SQL command cmd SQL adapter sda and the string pkk in connection void uh, I declared uh, the connection string here second line data send and data get I uh, specified here data send means uh, I use the SQL command query that's used for insert update delete and last data get function is used to fetch the rec uh, record from the database so that's why I used here data get connection dot data get sale number sale number is this store procedure name this is the uh, sales number I mentioned here the store procedure name then our uh, data table DT equal new data table this is as usual then our uh, connection SDA select command dot command type equal to command type dot store procedure this is the line used to call the store procedure here then that uh, uh, record um, sales number generated and we called here that uh, record uh, that's filled in data table after that we have to display it in the text box that's why text sales number dot text I name the text box uh, this is the invoice number okay. this text box I given name text sales number so text sales number dot text equal to dt the store procedure sales number displayed in the text box so this is the code to generate the invoice number automatically now I run the form you can see your invoice number one so now uh, just I make the one sales invoice product code this is a dynamic data grid view I used here if a do prescription or doctor given the doctor name we have to mention here customer ID if a it is a regular customer means we have an ID so if I click uh, here payment mode cash or check like the details will be if I click the check means check number we have to mention here so I uh, check balance amount if the customer means you yeah, have balance amount like that so that's why we sometimes we sell in a credit basis that amount will be displayed here as balance amount now the bill amount is 70 rupees current amount total amount 70 paying amount 70 so is balance is nil if I click the save button if I click the submit button the sales invoice saves, uh, saved ok one error ok main form is not there ok that uh, record saved in this uh, table now the reference number automatically generated as invoice number 002 ok this is the way to generate invoice number in C sharp thank you for watching my video if you have any doubt comment me and uh, for more videos like and subscribe our channel thank you